Good morning. Let me get Nate in here. Hopefully, hopefully his microphone's going to work now. Oh, good morning, everybody. Um, I'm Cindy Sandin with Keep Saudi Daisy Beautiful, and I have Nate with me as well this morning. Hi, everyone. <laughs> and uh, so these videos, I just kind of go over uh, what we have going on with Keep Saudi Daisy Beautiful and then um, some other stuff with the community. Uh, so this is our website I have here. The um, what's new area will kind of give you some information. We have Arbor Day coming up. We have our mural project we're working on. Uh, we have a meeting actually for that today. We have our t-shirt contest still going on. So you guys can definitely enter that. And there's more information on our website. Um, anybody can enter. And then we also have, let's see. We have um, the Welcome to Saudi Daisy Area Meetups. I actually, the one for this week has been uh, rescheduled to March. So I need to change that on the website, but there will be one next week. That's actually going to be at the library. So um, everybody is welcome um, to that. That's new to the area and it doesn't have to just be Saudi Daisy. It can be surrounding communities. So please uh, come join us at the library. And uh, if you've never been there, it's a good chance to meet uh, Curtis and Kelly and kind of see the library. It's a pretty cool space. And then there's um, a citizen forestry class this Saturday, that is the advanced one, I believe, at Ivy. Um, that's the one you're going to be at, right, Nate? You're going to be at that one this Saturday, I believe. Yep, I'll be there. And then there will be another um, one, but that's going to be in Chattanooga on the 26th. So those are pretty interesting classes. I'm sure you can still register if there's room. You can um, click on our website to find out more information. And then March 7th is going to be our next community meeting. Uh, we're going to hold that at the Veterans Building. I will have more information um, about that soon, but you can click in here in RSVP. Uh, we have it set up on Eventbrite. There's no cost, and everybody in the community is welcome to come. Um, did you want to talk about what's going on with the Arbor Day celebration? We need to get that on the calendar, too. That's March 5th. March 5th, yeah, on a Saturday. We're going to have, uh, we're going to start at 9 a.m., and everyone is invited and uh, we're gonna hopefully have some donuts and coffee there in the morning and and get started with uh, planting some trees there at the Pine Tree Park in, uh, next to the lake in Saturday Daisy. So um, let's see, we're gonna have nine o'clock, everyone can show up and then at 9.30 we'll start with uh, planting the trees. Uh, Jim Stewart from Keep Saudi Daisy Beautiful is gonna talk a little bit about Arbor Day and, and the history of it. And the mayor should be there. Uh, oh, and uh, let's see, we got, uh, we got uh, an arborist, uh, his name is Ian. He's gonna demonstrate how to, how to plant the trees and then uh, the the volunteer groups anyone that wants to show up and volunteer and help plant the trees can do so and we'll break off into groups and and do that um and then that's going to be about it for that day but it should be fun okay and then i had invited the library to come but they couldn't be on here this morning but i'm going to go over um they got a bunch of stuff going on right now so they've been updating their website it looks really good and you can find most of the information between the website and um, their facebook page they keep that pretty updated but some of the things that they have going on right now is they're doing their uh, wild bookmark art contest and that's a county-wide contest so let's see they have an entry form. They're going to be having prizes for it. I'm trying to remember. Let's see. Entries must be dropped off at the Saudi Daisy Community Library by 4 p.m. on March 11th, and winners will be notified by uh, March 25th. So you can go on their website if you want to find more information about that. 
and then they have um, some other stuff going on. Let me close the, oh, set the cookies. Um, they have the anime club. They have their story times, which they do. They're doing their ukulele classes. They have their young reader book club. There was something else that, oh, and then they, they do their Lego dumps. They just have a, a bunch of stuff going on. They're going to start their ag classes. Um, looks like the end of the month, indoor seed sowing. So if you're going to be um, planting a garden, that would be a good one to come to. And if you want to learn more about what they're doing with their ag center, they actually have an area up here where you can learn more about what they're doing with that. And the idea. they have a seed library now, so you can actually go and get seeds at the library, which I think is really cool. And there's more information about that. But like I said, you can um, reach out to them or you can go on their Facebook page for more information. Their phone number is listed on here. Um, they're really good about answering the phone and uh, can let you know what else is going on. Do you have anything library wise? Probably no. No. Okay. I think there's um, plenty of stuff for the library. They, they, they stay busy. Yeah, <laughs> they, they definitely stay busy. Um, I did want to mention um, the Saudi Daisy Food Bank. Um, they have a lot going on. I think their Facebook page is a better place for uh, information just because their website didn't really have much I looked on there. But if you um, are ever in need, uh, food, or if you're looking for some place to volunteer, I know they're always looking for volunteers. Um, it's located at 331 Durham Street in Saudi Daisy. It says they're currently serving 400 families per month in North Hamilton County, and it's open every Monday from 3.30 till 5.15 p.m. and Thursday from 8.30 a.m. to 10.45 a.m. And if you have any questions, there is an email address here that you can email, and they do have a phone number listed. So that's definitely a good place to check out and just kind of know where it is in case you ever need it or you know somebody that does. And I don't know why I'm logged out of Facebook. It's weird. Anyways, I'm not going to worry about that right now. And then also I wanted to mention the Saudi Daisy and Montlake Historical Association. They have the um, little museum. Or it's a decent sized museum actually down in the Saudi side of town. Um, in the old bank building, I believe. And they have a lot of really interesting stuff about the history of Saudi Daisy. They're going to be doing, um, whoa, I don't know why I did that. They're going to be doing a um, history fair on April 30th, and they hold that at the high school too. So you can find out more information about that if you want and see. And then I think... For Saudi Daisy, that's another good one to keep your eye on, but they haven't really been posting too much, so I'm not sure what's going on with them, but I did want to just give them a little shout out. Um, they they do a lot for the community, and they're really involved with some of the uh, local businesses and stuff. They will go and, oh, that's another thing I got to mention. Let me see. We are having, I don't think it's on here, and Facebook's not going to let me on. Let me see. See if I can log in. It's probably going to want me to do my security code. Yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Technology. Here, Nate, you talk for a second while I get onto Facebook. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <Adlib>. <laughs> <no>. <laughs> what's what's going on? Um, anything that we've learned about this the city lately? Do you remember what they said about like the road construction or any of the stuff that was since the meetings and we have anything interesting we know? No, no. we weren't at the last meeting because we went to the McDonald's the farm meeting. Yeah. yeah. We went to the McDonald's farm meeting. Um, we went to the veterans meeting last night, but there wasn't really anything new and exciting that we learned. They're just trying to do a, a, fundraiser at McDonald's or McDonald's at a Walmart, Walmart again, but they're just chucking along. They are, um, if you know anybody who's a Vietnam veteran or who served during those times, um, they have open membership and their information is on their website, which I don't know if you can share your screen, but let me get on. Um, no, I can't. And they are going to be working on, there we go, Facebook extending um, their membership to all veterans. So that's something that they're working on this year. So if you're a veteran, um, keep keep an eye open for that. And um, pretty soon they'll have 
extended membership. Okay. I'm going to get into Facebook, I think. Okay. What I wanted to see and here, I'm going to take this off while I get up on here. Um, I guess I could have done that originally. Why is it not working? Um, we have a networking meeting on Thursday is what I'm trying to do for the North Hamilton Chamber of Commerce. And that's like we haven't done a networking meeting in a while. So we're doing a coffee meetup at the Williams Family Bakery. And I just wanted to make sure I say the right time. So that's why I'm trying to pull it up. But Facebook is not cooperating very well for some reason this morning. It hasn't had enough coffee, I guess. So it is, okay, here we go. AM Coffee Networking. Let me put this back over. It will be Thursday at 8.30 a.m. at Williams Family Bakery, which is um, at 8804 Dayton Pike, Saudi Daisy. Uh, anybody is welcome to come. It'll be just networking with businesses and local residents. Um, and that should be good. Check out the little bakery, get some pastries. Nate went in there and got us a couple um, cinnamon rolls last week and they were tasty. Um, I think, and she does different coffee drinks and what else did she have in there? I don't, I don't know everything that she serves in there. Uh, some donuts and she's given all kinds of stuff though. For Valentine's day, she had sweets and roses and all kinds of stuff. So, yeah. So there is an Eventbrite, but I don't, I don't think there's any cost for this one. So um, I guess I could click on and see, I think it's free. Sometimes the luncheons they'll, they will um, cost money because we have them catered, but I think the coffee meetup is going to be free. Yeah, it's free. So you can just sign up there so they know you're coming, but it make sure we get enough donuts and everything ordered. I know um, Debbie Hudson with, um, oh goodness, what's the name of her uh, insurance company? Goosehead, Goosehead Insurance. Yeah. Um, she's going to be sponsoring the event. So uh, there'll be yummy stuff to eat and uh, coffee to drink and just coming out, out and meet some some of the business owners and residents and the of the chamber. Um, a lot of people didn't know that we even have a chamber here, but we do indeed have a chamber. It is the North Hamilton County one. So it covers uh, Sail Creek, Lakeside, Middle Valley, Saudi Daisy, and North Hickson. So I think I can't think of anything else I need to tell anybody. I didn't get any questions, but um, please feel free to ask me questions. You can even ask me questions you have about any of the organizations or the city, and I'll, I'll go ask them and try to get an answer so I can answer you guys. Um, and maybe I will. Oh, I won't be here next week, so I won't be doing a live. I don't know if Nate or any of the other people want to do it, but I will not be doing one next week. I'm going to be in Florida for a conference, so I won't have um, anything going on for that. I do want to try maybe to reach out to uh, Mr. Johnson, the city manager, and see if he'll join me on one of these and kind of give an update on what's going on with the city. Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah. So that's kind of my idea. Like we'll get other people on here that are <laughs> in our community. Yeah. So it's not just me talking um, and let you guys know what's going on. Um, the weather should be getting wonderful. It's definitely some amazing places to get out and hike. So I highly suggest it. Maybe next time we can talk about some of the um, good recreation areas um, around here and uh, fun places that we've found since we've lived here. But other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and uh, I look forward to seeing you around. Nate, anything before we leave? I got nothing. Maybe okay. Next time. <laughs> okay. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great right. day. Bye.